Let me take you back to Christmas Day 2006, alright? I went downstairs and Santa Claus got me my first ever console, the Nintendo Wii, with my first ever game, Call of Duty Black Ops for the Wii. Now, this may be the happy gamer, Wojak. I was so invested in video games, I got into other games like FIFA and more Call of Duty. I got an Xbox, a PlayStation 5, a Switch, a gaming PC. I spent my entire childhood playing Halo 3 Forge, playing the same Call of Duty mission over and over, walking around in Battlefield, playing Minecraft with friends, walking around San Andreas in GTA 5, but something changed. And then I became the sad gamer Wojak, and I thought to myself, video games aren't fun anymore. But why? Because my game library looks like this. Well, it's because video game companies hate us gamers. They fill their games with monetization, bugs, loot boxes, battle passes, and they only put in stuff you like because they hate you and want to kill you and eat you and turn your bones into chairs and body parts into effigies like the forest, which is also a bad game. And while we're on the topic of that, indie games. Indie games look so mid and are bad. I mean, just look at all these games. Have I played them? No, but like, like, look at them. All video game companies ever do nowadays is remake and remaster old games, bringing them back for old people to replay and new people to enjoy, like Final Fantasy and Crash Bandicoot. Wait, those are good examples. I can't use those. A lot of people complain about microtransactions because it's a lot of money, it's expensive and unnecessary, but it makes video game companies money. This is the only way they're able to make money. So buy the £20 microtransaction while I laugh at you because I need someone to laugh at because I'm depressed video games aren't good anymore. Lord of the Rings Gollum was bad, therefore there are no good games anywhere. It's all their fault. Just look at all these games on Xbox Game Pass. They all look bad and woke. I don't like woke games putting in characters that aren't manly men who shoot people. Look, I'm all for LGBTQ and inclusion and fairness in video games. Except when you add these stupid rainbow people into my manly shooter game, then it's forced diversity. Assassin's Creed has become too woke nowadays. The only people who existed in the past were straight white men and Italians. And we all know how historically accurate Assassin's Creed is. My friends tried to introduce me to games like Pizza Tower and Celeste, but they looked mid and I think they have battle passes and microtransactions actions I think I didn't play them. Did you know both games released updates and DLC that added new content to the game? Everyone knows that when a game releases an update or DLC that means the game originally released in an unfinished and unpolished build. Every single game is unfinished and unpolished. They also try to recommend visual novels to me, but I don't like visual novels. They tried to introduce me to Danganronpa because it has a gun in it and I play shooting games, but I had the same problem where I couldn't read. I don't know how to read because as I previously established, I spent my childhood playing Halo 3 Forge. My friends also tried to introduce me to RPGs like Fire Emblem and Persona, but they all look mid and bad and they all look the same. But don't compare two RPGs though because that will invalidate my point. Also, they tried to make me use my Switch, but all games on the Switch look mid and bad and they also run poorly and they have bad graphics and no games run on the Switch. But please don't show me a game running well on the Switch because that will invalidate my point! So what games do I like? Well, I only like shooting games like Valorant. I've already spent 10 hours in the aim labs and now I'm ready for the real deal. Bro, he's blinding me, he's cheating. Bro, I spent time in the aim labs. I shouldn't have lost that. Bro, you should win this. You should win this. Bro, no, how did you lose that? You should have seen everything. You're literally God. That's it. Now I'm quitting Valorant. Now I play Call of... Now I play Call of Duty. Wait, wait, actually, wait. Target down. This is supposed to be a bit. I'm actually be good at this. I'm the best Call of Duty player ever. Bro! I'm not supposed to die! I'm the best Call of Duty player ever! Apparently it's in here. <gasps> yes, sir! Bro, I got the golden gun! It's the most rarest gun in the game! I can kill everyone! Bro! Now I've lost the golden gun of legend! Wait, he has it too! I'm not special anymore! That's it! Call of Duty, consider yourself quitted! That was really bad and unfun. 
Now, this is the type of gameplay I can get behind. Build fighting and box battles. If I can find them. Oh, wait, they're down. No, bro, he's cheating. That's it. Now I'm quitting Fortnite as well. Like, it's my job. Now I only have one more game. Overwatch. It should be fine, though. Twitch, Twitch streamers always make Overwatch look interesting. Um. My friends wanted me to get Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I probably won't get it unless they make a Dragon Ball shooter game. I don't know how they do that, but they did make a Dragon Ball MOBA, so they could make a Dragon Ball hero shooter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Goku, you cannot defeat me. I am Grandmaster on Overwatch, and you are Platinum. That means everything I say and do is better than you. I can beat you in this 5v5 video game. What? But how? I'm the prince of all Fortnite! I'm Overwatch! I know there were four other people on my team that could have thrown, but I should have still won! S saying diff? What the hell? Kakarot's not better than me! Video games aren't fun anymore. I will never play shooting games again. At least I'm in Fortnite, I can get- <laughs>